Ask some questions about the car. Okay, so this is the um, 991? 911, 991.2. 991.2, which is a turbocharged engine for the first time. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about that? What's your name? Sorry, I don't have a name tag. They didn't give me one. Nameless, but you Nameless. are. Nameless. <laughs> uh, you've remained anonymous. Is it okay for me to get your voice on tape? Yeah, that's right. All right. So, so what, have you driven mm -hmm. these? The have you, dri the have you driven the uh, the naturally aspirated 991? Mm -hmm. Both on the Thoughts track. on differences so besides the initial torque and all of that? Previous generation without the turbocharging, mm -hmm. um, you really had to be high up in the RPMs to get okay. any significant torque. Mm -hmm. Now with the turbocharging, it comes in at about 1800 RPM. Mm. So that's peak torque. And it is absolutely beautiful with the variable trigonometry mm -hmm. of the turbos. Derived from the 959 in the late 80s. Was it the last time that uh, Porsche had a turbocharged car? No. no. Late 80s? Well, they introduced it. Okay. 911 Turbo. In okay. The late 80s. Oh, the first Turbo came out in the late 80s. Mm -hmm. But so as what, of now, mm -hmm. it's 2017, every Porsche is turbocharged. Better fuel economy, mm. better power, better performance from the racetrack. How about driving experience? Driving experience? Smooth, seamless. What do you prefer? I prefer Carrera Carrera S. Yeah. And the PDK. PDK. Yeah. PDK. Do you miss the naturally aspirated sound of the uh, 991.1 or 997? You really don't notice it too much. No. Especially when you option off the, the sport exhaust system, it really sounds good. Burbles, cracks, everything like the old 911. Mm. One thing that makes me think about is reliability. I know like the 997.1 had the IMS thing still lingering in people's minds and the 97.2, the, the IMS, the intermediate chef bearing was longer an issue. Mm -hmm. That was a pretty solid car. You have an electric steering on the 997.2 and here you have electric steering for the first time, right? The 991s. But I wonder how reliability is going to be on these turbocharged engines long term. Now, you, you, know? never, you never really know. Yeah. Porsche is constantly innovating, constantly Can improving. I sort of come with him this one? Yeah. So I can take a look at the car. Go ahead. Um, where was I? It's constantly innovating. Mm -hmm. So improved performance, improved gas mileage. Mm -hmm. um, perfect for city driving, perfect for highway driving, perfect yeah. for the racetrack. And this one here starts, uh, is this the S model? This is the Carrera model. Carrera. Mm -hmm. You know, it's interesting. Have you ever driven the, uh, the S model? Yes. Bigger Shen. So right next to the Carrera. As far as torque-wise, feeling off the line, does this feel like uh, as powerful as a naturally aspirated S? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Not People some you don't really need the S mm -hmm. as much because no, of the power. Everyone wants to jump in and be like, hey, I want to test drive a turbo yeah. S yeah. right now. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're going to take a couple steps back. Yeah. Here. Really, all you need is Carrera. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Get you from day to day. All you need to do is drive one, and you're hooked. Now, how do you uh, compare this versus the uh, the Cayman? The, the Cayman. balance of the Cayman mid-engine, right, versus engine sitting in the track, back. The Cayman is superior in driving feel, in my opinion, because mm -hmm. um, how the, the car is weighted. Mm -hmm. uh, Performance-wise, all the same as well as the 17 mm -hmm. Cayman, which was released for 2017. Um, turbocharged as well and it's a four cylinder and that's controversial right uh some people it is. think it is going from the flat six to the four turbo it is but i think the what i'm hearing is that the more people drive these cars the more they start appreciating how overall it is a better car and the 718 yeah. cayman s outperforms the outperforms the previous generation gt4 it's unbelievable yeah that was a track spec car, yeah. flat six. And you said you, you driven the 991 is on the track. Mm -hmm. Have you driven the 997 as well? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Turbo. Do model, you the do 997. 997? Do you know any noticeable differences on that on the steering handling? Uh, is it is that as significant as people say like the, the steering of the 997 versus the 991? You really got to drive them back to back to mm -hmm. really appreciate and fine point details. Mm -hmm. But with the 911 being the 911, they, they change very few mm -hmm. things from generation to generation. Mm. So you hop in an I-11, you drive it. You can drive it blindfolded, which I don't recommend, but you'd still be able to tell it's a 911. Now, S-Spec, what is this uh, MSRP at? This, car? Blue, this one is at 108. 108? Okay. It's being our sapphire blue. Yeah, that's a great color. That's great. Well, 
Thank you for all. Oh, I just heard the news about the GT4. I guess it's RS potentially coming out. Did you hear about that? Is that like that's, a uh, is that fake news? That's all. That's all Porsche. That has nothing to do with dealerships. No. So if they release it, they release it. They yeah. Don't, they don't. Do you think they'll keep making the GT4 naturally aspirated? Do you think they will go to the turbo engines? You never know with the 718. You never know, right? You never know. Hey, thanks a lot. Appreciate your time, no Brown. Take care. There you go, folks. This is a beautiful. 991.2 PDK Great color Great car